guys to see you all here today. We're out and about. We're out. Look at us, mum and dad. Out the house and about. Um, guys, we've got a really fun thing to tell you. We're going to London for the weekend. How exciting. It's not a trip we thought we would be making before the baby arrived. Um, but would you know it? All the stars have aligned and on our way. On our way, Boris has sorted us out. <laughs> he said, come on up guys. <laughs> Stay in number 10 if you want. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We've missed you guys so much and hope you all have had a lovely week so far. As we were just saying, we are currently en route on the motorway for a fun little weekend away. Hang on, I feel like I'm just... Yeah, I'll just I need to start straight the into that, aren't you? Beginning. Yeah. You know, Come okay. On. All right, let me yeah, start again. Like to know everything. everything. Okay. Okay. Let's start with your Starbucks order. Tell them about that. And well, that's like starting that. at the very end of the story, Con. Because then I would finish the story of being like, and now okay, on the way okay. with my Starbucks order. But my Starbucks order. Coming to you in 10 minutes after he's had the combo with you. <laughs> Cheers to me not being able to talk this morning. So, as you guys know, we have had Invisalign for the last few months and we are on our way to basically see our dentist finish our Invisalign because we've finished it. Nice smiley to give us a smile, Con. Hi, hi. Give us a smile. I just had a bacon roll. Just so. give us a smile, Con. Wow. Invisalign done. I think I may need some more adjustments though, just because. Why? I just want a few extra tweaks to my teeth. Okay. Because mine had a lot more work that needed to be done, so. Well, I don't. Mine are perfect. Yours are perfect already, so you might be getting your little um, wire on wire today. Last day. I've been booked for a while, and I've actually really been like umming and ahhing about whether or not I wanted to come and do that. I was gonna just like rearrange it all basically with a dentist closer to home, because obviously, honey, by the time you're seeing this, I'm officially in my third trimester of pregnancy, right? And it's a lot for me. It's a lot for these hips, carrying this baby boy in my womb, sitting in a car for a couple of hours on the motorway. I was like, oh, I'm just going to wait and see. And the original plan was just to come up for the day, up yeah. and back. But then also, Connor has an, another appointment booked for his hair transplant. What are you? It's an injection for so the hair growth, it's right? PRP, which is essentially, they'll be taking blood out of my body, spinning it round in a little vial, and that essentially helps rejuvenate and regenerate the blood, and then they're gonna put it into my head, where I had the hair transplant, it's gonna sort of help growth of the hair. Didn't know they were doing all that with your blood con. Yeah, it's a proper old uh, science that. experiment. God, it's quite like vampire-esque, isn't it? Taking your blood out, yeah. all that, just putting it back in a different position. A bit like Jacob. <laughs> anyway, so we've got a few fun no, appointments Jacob's the today. Werewolf, isn't he? I don't oh. know. I'm not a Twilight fan, honey. Damn it. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so we've got a few appointments today. It was only ever going to be a trip up for the day, um, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, you know. But then, when the rules got lifted, and seeing so many people going, just going and having fun in London, I was like. That is a bit of me. I think we need a little bit of time in London together before our gorgeous sun arrives. Because we do love London, don't we? Every time we come to London, we want to move to London. That's how much we like London. Yeah, no, that's not an exaggeration, actually. We really do love London so much. I'm so excited, guys, honestly. Like, going shopping. Oh, you know what I mean, Con? See, you really like shopping. I'm not a huge fan of... Uh, I like online shopping. That in person shopping, it gets all a bit much for me. No, Con, we love Selfridges. You love Selfridges. I love Selfridges. You love me coming to carry your bags in Selfridges. <laughs> no. That's how it works. No. I'm just really excited anyway. And every restaurant has been booked up. The only restaurant I've been able to book has been the Ivy at Tower Bridge, which is a bit of a trek out of like where we're going to be staying. When we come to London normally, we do just stick to the same areas. Whereas this time I feel like we're going to Tower Bridge. We're going to be tourists. Where's Tower Bridge? I've never been to Tower Bridge. This will be our first time. When are we going to Tower Bridge? Tonight. Tom Connor, tomorrow. You for said lunch. for dinner. You just said dinner. We're going for to Tower lunch. Bridge for dinner. You just said dinner. The Ivy at Tower you Bridge. You just said we're going to Ivy at Tower Bridge for dinner. 
dinner. Oh, all right, okay. So we have lunch tomorrow. Great. I can't wait. No view to Tower Bridge. We're tourists. I always find whenever we come to London, we always tend to stay in the same sort of area. So it'd be nice to sort of get out and explore London and sort of be tourists for once. You, I don't know why you're... Do you know what you're doing, Con? You're poking a wild bear right now. How am I? You're prodding a bear. Okay. Third trimester pregnant lady, you are pushing your limits, my love. So Starbucks order anyway, because we're at the end of the story now. Ice chai tea latte for me. And I did ask to add some vanilla syrup in that. Pump of vanilla. But I don't, Pump it. I'm going to put these up now. I don't know if they actually did add it. And then what did you get? Iced vanilla latte. And then I had a sausage roll, which was about four out of ten. And then I had his signature breakfast roll. Oh my days. That rivals the uh, breakfast muffin. McDonald's. No, it does Even not. No, good. it does not. It's good. No. It's good. And typical Ellie Darby style. I got chip. a chop chip cookie. At nine o'clock in the morning. Yep. Yeah. And look at all of our stuff in the back. Pregnancy pillow had to come. Had to. to come see my downfall. I saw down in minutes. I saw friends in the front row. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Connor is a newfound rocker. Yeah, it's like pop. Is it like pop, pop rock? It's not like proper rock. I don't know, Connor. It's quite extreme. This rock phase. Uh, September last year. Yeah, I've always had it in me, but I just never knew. You never un unleashed it. No. no. Machine Gun Kelly started me on the uh, craze. Baby. <laughs> Con's got a rock singing voice as well. Come on, guys. Can you can no you treat them way. to it, Con? No <laughs> way on this planet Earth. Please, Con. <laughs> Please do your rock voice. I only did it with Blink 182 on that one song. Okay, well, I'm going to put that on then. Oh, I'm not singing it. Please, Con, no, come on, that'd be no, so no, funny. I'm not singing it, Al. Come on, Con, it's just a bit fun. It's a bit of fun, Con. It's not for me. It is for us, come on. Come on, it's just so much fun. It's not so much fun. <laughs> it's so you do it there. I don't, fun. I can't do it like you. Oh, Al, you chat rubbish. Come on. How is that? No, stop. So we are all checked in and we've come for some lunch at Island Pokey, which was a really cute little find actually. Do you know, I've seen this on Delivery so I've much. Seen a lot of people coming in, so it yeah, might be good. I think it's a Just randomly found good it, one. And we've randomly found it down this little street, which makes me a bit nostalgic because I think down there is Sophie T Arts Studio gallery area. thing. And then we obviously took Katie there at Christmas time if you guys watched the vlog and she just loved it so much. Um, but anyway, we've just stopped for a little bite you to actually eat. Got me this. What have we got? We've got we got the same, because Connor always gets food envy. Okay. We've got sushi rice, sesame seeds, sesame dressing, Love that. pineapple, salmon, edamame, avocado, spring onions. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. You know? And we've got Thank some hot chips, a diet coke to share. To share. And some water. I'll hold you to that house to share. Hey everyone, we are back in the car once again. This time we are on the way to Westfield's shopping centre. Me and Ellie are just playing a game. We've never played this game before in our lives, but we're on the motorway stuck in some pretty heavy traffic. And we started just spelling words. So we did a mini spelling bee in the car. First to three wins. Guess who won? It's not fair though, and that's guess why I'm who won. Just from that reaction, it's not fair. guess who ran. No, it's um, not fair, guys. Yeah. Connor's obviously on his phone, and he literally googled hardest words to spell. No, 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 no. Alice, you can think and of I words. I'm not stopping you. I'm not stopping you from thinking of a word to say. It's but not Connor, my fault. My visualize is not as hard that's... to spell as fair, right? No, no, no. Let's, okay? start, let's start from the beginning. Before we even discuss spelling bee, do you want to discuss your head? Oh. It looks a bit yeah. Now. So if my head looks slightly swollen on this top line. We have just come from my PRP treatment. Um, it, it hurt, didn't it, else? Well, no. it looked painful, right? No. Ellie, you said to me it looked real bad. What are you on about? Look, she's in, She just because she's lost the game. I also had a checkup on the hair transplant and um, 
the doctor which did my procedure and uh, my checkup along with my PRP treatment said that it was growing really, really well for three months post-surgery. He said it was actually one of the best he's ever done. So I'm really happy with that and this PRP should just help speed up the process. So when Baby Swift is here, he'll see his dad with a full uh, hairline, so that's good to know. So back onto the main story of the Spell and Bee tournament. Connor Swift has just come out number one, he's the champion. Ellie has to buy dinner because of this, that's the new rule. No, that's not the new rule, Con. First word, I said L's to spell reservoir. Easy word, right? Who gets that wrong? <laughs> Over here. Um, did you do the wrong turn? No, oh. that's literally my frustration at you. Oh, right, okay. That's not my frustration at anything else apart from you. Oh, God. Yeah, Elle's got the word well wrong. Look, okay, Look. let me explain no, this. No, this was no. one of an in a million situation. Ellie goes. No. Ellie goes, shut your eyes. So I'm like, all right, I'll shut my eyes. No, you. Even this. That's the truth. Even this. And you shut at the, the time, time, we're going over um, a billboard and it says Q on it. You know, Q U E U E Q. So I shut my eyes, and then she's there thinking of a word, and I just say Q Q U E U E Q U E U E. -E, -E. And what it was the like? word she was about no, to say. No, no. I just know her so well. I just read her mind. I thought she's going to say that. I'm going to speed up the was, process and just say it. It was the first one I was getting Connor to spell, and I know he struggles with the word Q and other words like that. Didn't know, did I, this time? And so when I said shut your eyes, I saw him panic look around. You didn't see me panic out. I was so smooth see. with it. Well, so you did, so you admit that you panic looked. No, I didn't panic look. I just you closed did. my eyes and Q was there, and I know you so well, I knew you would also say Q, because that's what I would have said. And then the last word was, Al's got me saying visualize, got it correct, 3 0, Connor Swear, new Swear be champion. Thank you very much, dinner's on you. We are 26 minutes away from Westfields. Can't wait to shop till I we bet drop. That was the funnest story you guys have ever had. I know. You're here for a London vlog, guys. And you've been in the car the whole day. Yeah, you have. Well, this is our thing, guys. We've been bloody here, there, and everywhere. Wait till tomorrow. We're going to be shopping. You'll till be inside in. Selfridges. You'll be in our bag buying some stuff. So, we made it into Westfields and we're in Zara. Now, show them around where we are. Look where we are. In the kids section for the first time, guys. This is the first time I'm shopping in real life. For baby for stuff. Our son. Because last time we came to London in, at Christmas Con, we didn't Lily, know the gender. Lily knew what we were having, oh, but we yeah. didn't. And we went into a Zara Kids and we were like, oh, is, are we going to be buying boys stuff or girls Where's stuff? Where's the boys stuff? Uh, Over there. Oh my God. Here we go, here we go, guys. Zara do some pretty nice stuff. Oh my God. Not going to lie to you. Con. Oh, look at this stuff. What's going on? Oh my god. Oh, look at those little shoes. Little converse. So cute. Blimey, Alice, how old would he be in this? He's an old boy in that, isn't he? Yeah, could be running around, dude. No, he sees our little boy, don't he? Oh, I just can't cope with this. Look at the sandals. That'd be him when he's one, little summer baby. Right, right, I feel like I actually need to Yeah, we're going to do some shopping and we'll show you what we get. We've got a few goodies, guys. Got a few bits. Oh, where's my fiance and baby gone? Mm. Oh, there they are. Look, guys, this is the first time we're seeing the pram that we've got IRL. We've obviously not been able to be in a shop. Are we doing this colour? Do you know what? It is so funny seeing all the pregnant women like me walking around this section. And all the blokes just snogging down. And all the blokes, yeah, 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 yeah. And all the pregnant women waddling around like me. But yeah, this is the pram that we've got, guys. We're so excited. This the colour? one, the one we've got has this is cream and looks oh. really gorgeous. We went for the fox too, actually. In the end, it's a big decision going for the pram. Um, yes. But Connor Swift is trying it out, and how does it feel? Well, it started off a little bit low, but it has adjustable. Yeah. We're so excited. Good so excited to get it. Good suspension. Yeah. Maneuver very well. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited after seeing this in person, guys. Honestly. 
it, there is really nothing like baby shopping in real life when you know you've got a baby on the way. I want to go with it now. Oh, so and here we go, there. look, right, so I've been shopping, yeah? Now, where does this go? My sisters always let me put my I shopping bags on have. the pram. I guess you could buy something to go on there, an attachment. One of these, probably. Pram clip. There you are. It's there, pram clip. Put it on. I'm going to have to get that. Yeah, all right, well, let's pretend I've not been shopping then, yeah? Yeah, you're just about to go shopping with baby boy. Have fun with my son. <laughs> Do a little spin in it, see if you can work it properly. Look oh, I've work. got something from the car. Oh, look at, you're a natural, you are. I tell you what, what? you're the best looking mum I've ever seen pushed up from. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is now Saturday. It's our first full day in London. We are up bright and early. I think it's about 20 past nine right now and the sun is shining so beautifully down Regent Street this morning. Here's Mr. Swift. Oh, well, you could be a bit more friendly than that. Oh my goodness, that was like street guy vibes. Say so, hello, angels. Angels. <laughs> it's more like it. <laughs> Guys, Get how cool great. is Con's outfit today? Oh, look. I'm not that. Look. Guys, we didn't even plan that, did we, Con? Nope. Baby Swift says good morning. So our plan for the morning is just um, walking around a little bit. We have a reservation at the Ivy at Tower Bridge, which I'm really excited about because I've never been to that area of London before. We're going to just have a little bit of a walk around with the shops, which is... way to that spot. Okay. I don't think shops actually open until 10 hours. Oh, really? I haven't seen a shop open yet. Good job, um, we can snap a fresh picky then, you know? Um, yeah, that Zara isn't open, that was going to be our first spot. Yeah, we can we can be first in the queue, darling. That's what we'll do, isn't it? And then this afternoon, we really want to go to Selfridges, don't we? We have heard from so many people. Yeah, and you do, Con. I might treat you today. Treat me? Yeah, I might buy you a little gift. What? Yeah, I might take the angels on a little shopping spree for you. What? Why would you do that? I don't know, like a pre-push present. Watch out. A pre-push present? What, well, and then do I get a push present too? Yeah, third trimester present. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so lucky. No, but you don't have to do that. But I do really, really want to go to Selfridges. We've heard some, from so many people that it's so good. I might grab a coffee then. Really? Cool. Sure. Hi again, everybody. We are walking down by the Thames. Very slowly. Very slowly. I've had a little outfit change because I bought some absolutely gorgeous bits and bobs in Zara. And then Connor went on to Nike and I thought, you know what? I really need a wee. So I thought I was, I'm going to go back. And when I got back, I was like, may as well just change into one of my outfits that I just bought. So I've done that. And do you like my outfit? Will you actually give them a quick OOTD for me, please? T D D D D T D D Y. Dior shoes. We got a Dior, Dior shoes with the basic white socks and then we move up and we got the Gucci bag over the top of the Zara jumpsuit with a little cardi on. Some glasses. My Tom Ford's um, car. I was going to say Chanel but obviously good thing I didn't. So anyway, I'm laughing because we, um, we have this reservation at 12 and it's like an hour's walk from Oxford Circus and we've been saying this whole time Oh, we'll just stroll down to Tower Bridge Ivy because we'll just walk, take just in be a scenery. lovely walk. It's lovely weather. And then we decided to get a taxi to about halfway, which is Shakespeare's Globe, because I thought I'd show Con. That was a nice little 30 second show yeah, of the Globe. Worth it. And then we started walking. We started walking. <laughs> Literally, we're about 10 minutes into the walk, and the sides of my stomach or my womb or my mid-region, I just, I'm not gonna say pain, cause it's not pain, but they're just like aching a lot. Just from where I'm carrying big boy all around. And um, it said it was gonna be like a 20 minute walk from where we got dropped off by the taxi. But because we're literally walking so slowly, guys, an hour. it's literally added on like 15 minutes. So yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd update you guys. It's really nice and sunny today. And that is Strolls with Preggy this morning. Right, 
right, we've made it to the ivy, guys. We're sat underneath some lovely heaters and they've given us some blankets, so it's nice. It's not actually even that cold, really. It's just the wind, when you It's just the wind. Yeah. And because we're by the water. But look at the view. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? With the cherry blossom trees. Ivy is better. Stunning. Oh, what a romantic guide. Oh, my, my, my chat. Oh. That was such a lovely moment, Carl. Comment for a burger and also a apple spritz. Now, what's the reasoning behind that? When in London, <laughs> go crazy, let loose. Yeah. I've gone for a chicken milanese, as she said. Did you hear? I said, Can I order yeah, a chicken no, milanese? She and she you. was like, Yes, up for the chicken milanese. <laughs> and then with some truffle and parmesan chips, some mayo. DC for me, and we're having a lovely afternoon, aren't we? Here's my darling. Yes, we are. Oh, oh my lord. Oh. Wow, wow, thank you. Mm. Mm. If you've never been to the Ivy, you need to come just for the chocolate bar. I've actually never had it. You have had some of mine. I've never had any of yours. Wow. Never let me else. It's a shame today won't be your first time, darling. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good morning. Ah, You guys haven't even seen the vlog today, have you? Hello. <laughs> Hello, my gorgeous little gumdrops. Here's Herbie this morning. You're in a very laughy, funny mood today, aren't you? <laughs> Good morning from me and Baby Bump. Look, guys, this is my view now. No longer see... Where have my feet gone? You literally cannot even see. I'm going to have to actually push myself right back before you can see them. Herbie, don't say you can't Let see your feet out. either. He just wanted to come in and say no, hello. No, you didn't. You there. You pressured him to come in smart. I did not pressure him. Herbie, you're literally a wind-up merchant, babes. Hello, Vicky. See? Do you guys want to be in or out? Look, Herbie gets so jealous when Hector comes in without him. And then he tries to find a toy, which is exactly what he's doing now, to lure him back out. Jesus. You're such a teaser. You're a tease. You're a little flirt. You're a little tart. <laughs> Cherry tart? Did you have so much fun in London with me? The best time ever. We didn't really vlog as much as we thought we would, did we? we it was took time um, for ourselves, darling. Sometimes it's all you need. Yeah, need. you know. But we did have a lovely time. But um, I do want to apologise for the craziness, randomness of, uh, like, what? That little London section turned out to be, guys, sorry, it's a bit crazy. As you can see, we are now at home. The sun is shining. And um, I just thought I'd pick up the camera again and say hello, really. I've just finished my PT session this morning. Guys, look how not being funny, right? I had big boobs before I got pregnant, right, Con? Now, yeah. I, like, I just think the zip needs to be done up a little yeah. bit, really. I'm like busting out all my clothes, you know? In London, I was saying you need to sort of zip up the eye. No. Yes, when the IV, when you went to the toilet, and came oh. back and the and the... I had undone the button. button. Popped open. Because it was a play suit, so I had to undo all the buttons. I just couldn't be bothered to do that last button up, and Con was like, I think you should maybe think about doing that top button up. You're a mother now, Eleanor. Con, let her go live her life. Right. For the boys. <laughs> oh, Con, I haven't even told you yet this morning. I had a dream last night that I started leaking. Oh, your breasts? Yeah. I had a dream. I literally woke up, because I, I tell you what it is. Last night, when I went woke up to go to the toilet for about the 20th time, yes. throughout the night, I'd been having, like, like Dom's feelings, almost, in my chest and my shoulders. Dom's? No, not dominoes. Like, as if I'd worked out, trust me, I have not worked out my chest in a very long time. I had that feeling, and in my tired state, I must have been like, is this my milk duct growing in, my, in no each breast? Way. And then I had a dream that I had leaked. And you know when it's like really realistic, and I woke up and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. But I didn't. Kind of wish I had. You know when like you like you really feel like it was realistic. 
Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to stand here for much longer and tell you how much I wish I was leaking out of my breasts. So my PT session this morning, I'm feeling really good. I'm going to show you guys my outfit of the day. Oh, I did a big wardrobe clear out yesterday, guys, from the wardrobe in... I've always got my little helper coming up. You okay, heck? You just come to check that mum doesn't like fall over up here, don't you? From these wardrobes up here, all of this was winter coats that I like obviously only ever wear in the winter and I didn't even wear half of them anymore really. So I did a big clear out and instead, this is now my new angel collection wardrobe here, which is so exciting. Keep the new colorways dropping literally next week yeah my other wardrobes were just getting so full like honestly my entire wardrobe is angel collection basically and i just had to like actually dedicate now an entire wardrobe to it because it was taking over all my summer dresses you know everything so yeah anyway this is my outfit of the day really really comfy i literally love the gymshark vital seamless stuff so much and as you guys know i work um on a long-term partnership with gymshark are actually sponsoring today's video so thank you gymshark so much this is the vital seamless set which has just been a complete lifesaver almost for me throughout my pregnancy it was also my favorite kind of gym wear before um i got pregnant as well just because it is honestly so comfortable through pregnancy and my grand body and this big old baby bump um ever growing and changing and this changing body of mine it has still remained so comfortable i've got shorts on today because it's a bit warm actually outside i think it's supposed to be like 16 degrees today how crazy is that is the ruched training sports bra in pebble gray and this has been another big fave of mine through um pregnancy as well because it's like perfect for low intensity kind of days so when i'm just out walking the dogs with con i mean my pt sessions are never anything like too strenuous <laughs> anymore so everything i do is kind of low intensity and it's just really really comfy it's got removable pads it's got adjustable straps at the back and I'm pretty sure this one is actually restocking on the 22nd of April. So in just a couple of days. But yeah, that's me today. That's my outfit. I'll leave a link for you guys to go and shop in the description if you want to support your gal. As always, I appreciate it so, so much. I was actually saying to Connor the other day um, how like pregnancy body has actually really surprised me with the i don't know just like the way it's kind of gone about itself obviously if you guys were here before my pregnancy you would know i always had quite a slim waist and then bigger hips anyway and i just find it really interesting how my body sorry i'm like going in between mirrors has still like stuck to that same structure from front on you can kind of see that my waist is like still there which i just find really really interesting i just wasn't expecting my body to go like that i just am really so in love with my pregnancy body and i feel like i don't know if it's kind of like a bit weird to say that because pregnancy is a time when your body changes so much and it can definitely be like really hard mentally a little bit even though obviously pregnancy is the most amazing incredible thing in the world when you first fall pregnant it is definitely weird seeing your body change so rapidly and so dramatically um in a really really short time space and obviously it's incredible what it's doing but i can understand why some women would feel like it's just a bit of a funny thing in their mind but i just feel really really happy in my pregnant body honestly like i have genuinely never felt more body confident in my entire life i absolutely love as i feel like i say all the time and it's probably really annoying i just love being pregnant and i have loved this pregnancy so far we've still got a little bit of a way to go and i'm hoping i'm still gonna love it just as much as i have for the first two trimesters of this pregnancy i'm hoping the third one is going to be just as kind um yeah i'm just really really proud of myself really and this body for growing my gorgeous son and i just cannot wait to meet him it's literally only a few weeks away now um yeah there he is speaking of baby boy actually we picked up a few things for him in london that i thought i could just run through for you guys coming into his gorgeous little room john lewis guys right i hate to literally sound so boring this is probably the most boringest thing i've actually ever said <laughs> but since becoming pregnant okay and obviously this was my first time going into a store in real life for my baby boy um john lewis is like 
better than Selfridges. I had a better experience in John Lewis shopping for our son than I did in Selfridges for myself. Like, honestly, when you're a mum or when you're pregnant, oh, it's just like baby heaven. I had so much fun in there. I completely understand that that is like so not a cool thing to say if you um, aren't a mum or you're not having a baby. Yeah, I don't know. I was just making myself laugh in there because I couldn't believe how much fun I was having. So I just picked up a few bits. I actually also did get loads from Zara this weekend as well for myself. Um, but I'm not going to show you guys what I got just yet because I'm going to be doing a really big like spring summer haul um, in the next few videos. And I'm going to save it till then. But I picked up some really gorgeous bits from Zara. And I'm sure I'll probably do a few sneak peeks over on my story as well if you guys want to see that. I'm going to head over there. But um, yeah, this is everything I picked up. Oh, I did buy these little bits for Baby Boy and Zara actually. These gorgeous shorts with um all the disney characters on three to six months i think uh, does anybody else find like all the really cute like stylish little baby stuff is always in three to six months how cute is that shirt but like i want this little boy to be stylish like cool guy from day one you know so if anybody has any nice recommendations for like really nice newborn clothing or zero to three months or even like zero to one month i really love the white company I love Zara and they do do those ages, but I don't know. I just feel like Disney is not done until like three to six months. I'm shorts. And then I think that was literally it from Zara for him. And then I picked up, <laughs> I picked up this from John Lewis. We just love the animal vibe guys, right? And anything with like just little patterns on like that, I just think is adorable. This was 18 pounds and it's a four piece whale set. So you get the hat, the bib, a little short sleeve bodysuit. What size do I get this thing? Cause this looks massive. See that's zero to three months. Doesn't that look really big? Some babies go straight into that size clothing as well, which I just, wow. Can you imagine if he fits straight into that? Or does it just make me look, I feel like that's more like a true representation of how short I am when zero to three month clothing looks that big when I hold it up against my head. I also bought this for him. This was £15 and this is a newborn set. I thought this might even be, this is so cute. This might even be like his coming home outfit, I thought. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of pressure to get the going home outfit really cute, but I just really, really liked that. It's in like a really nice velour. Is that the right word? I don't know what it is, but it's really soft. It's got a little giraffe on it. It comes with a hat and that's in size newborn. I thought it was lovely. Um, I picked up some hangers because he needed some more. I picked up, oh, these bits I'm really, really excited to try. So this is the brand My Expert Midwife. And fun fact, actually, I'd literally seen on Live Guy's story who I love so much. She's just given birth to her new gorgeous baby girl. Her story that she had been like talking about the birth of her daughter and she had said that she didn't tear in birth and she said that this product here was, well, she'd been doing it. She didn't say it was the reason that she didn't tear, but obviously like you just, she just doesn't know. She said that she had been using this for a perineal, I think it's called, massage from 34 weeks. I saw it earlier that day on her story and I was like, I might try that. And then I saw it in John Lewis and I was like, I think that's the sign that I need to get it. And then also um, this apparently is just supposed to be really incredible. This is the Spritz for Bits, which is supposed to be um, really good after birth. And I think they do some for maybe before birth to help that area prepare. But I'm really excited to try those bits, so I'll let you know what I think about those. And I also just picked up a few more bits. We picked up this little gorgeous Winnie the Pooh rattle. We said that was Herbie in a rattle, so we had to get that. Um, some cute muslins here. What's on these ones? We've got some dinosaurs, I think. Cute rainbows. Um, and then also, finally, I just picked up these as well. This is the Mam Easy Start bottle set. Now this is the first like feeding thing that I have bought. I thought it'd be best to get a little bit prepared. Um, I was gonna hold off of like buying feeding stuff until I got much nearer the end of my pregnancy and I was kind of like seeing how I was feeling. My plan is at the moment, and obviously like regardless of how my initial plan to feed him goes. A fed baby is a happy baby, so it really does not matter. We are not judgmental people over on this channel. Breast or bottle, it really, 
does not matter to me as long as my son is happy and healthy and is being fed properly that is what is important to me but i would obviously love to give breastfeeding a go um i have actually got the alvi pump over here right in front of me which i might as well show you guys this was kindly sent to me from natural baby shower i think so i have got that and i've heard that that's really really good and i'd like to try it so i'm gonna use that obviously breastfeed i don't know how long for i'm just gonna see how it goes i'm really trying hard not to like put any pressure on myself um to get my hopes up because those stories of so many women who wanted to give breastfeeding a go and then it just didn't work out for them or the baby and again that's completely fine but i really want to try but at the same time i really don't want to get my hopes up so either way i know that however we end up doing it i really want connor to be able to feed him which is why we've got bottles and all of my sisters have told me that mam is literally the best brand for bottles apparently they're self-sterilizing anti-colic bottles these ones are from zero plus months and yeah I think that's it. Um, they've got really cute little tree opener. Look how cute these are. They have little zebras and flamingos on there. I literally cannot believe that he's gonna be drinking out of this. <sighs> so cute. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the vlog here guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, sorry it was look kind of a little bit like here, there and everywhere when we we're in London. It is really like weird and hard getting used to vlogging in public again, honestly. I feel like when I was in the shops, I needed to really concentrate on what I was getting and what I was looking at and it was hard to pick up the camera and vlog. And obviously like staying mindful of social distancing and wearing our masks and everything like that. But um, doesn't it just feel so lovely that the world is just returning back to like a slice of normality? Honestly, I cannot tell you how much it lifted my spirits just spending some quality time with Con in a different place, in the sunshine. It's just amazing, like honestly, I just had so much fun. But um, yeah, I hope all of you guys have had a lovely week so far and I've got a very, very exciting video coming up this weekend, which I am really excited to do actually. I feel like you guys are gonna love it. Bringing back one of your favorite people onto the channel and she's very excited to say hello to you all again. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on for that. But thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching Angels and I will see you in the next one.